Alice Perdue here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get into UI UX design. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that uh, I'm a UI UX designer with uh, over 10 years of experience and uh, worked with over 40 clients uh, completely remotely over the past years. So I do have uh, experience in this field and uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the resources which uh, I think uh, are the most useful in order to get started in UI UX design as well as uh, what are the important parts in the curriculum that uh, you totally shouldn't miss if you want uh, to be a well-rounded student. So let's start with uh, this uh, uh, first resource, which is uh, the Google UX Design Professional Certificate by Coursera. And uh, this uh, is a certificate which uh, is really good in order to get started in to UI UX design. You can enroll for free. Uh, I think they have uh, um, a payment after, after a while, which is recurring monthly, uh, but you can unsubscribe uh, whenever you want. So you, you can even potentially check it out for free and uh, see if that works for you. And uh, the curriculum is really well structured and also the instructors are top notch. So this is going to get you busy for a while if you want to get started and learn all of the basic uh, uh, theory around UI UX design. And uh, it's basically the research which uh, I personally recommend. It's like my go-to resource for all the students who are um, looking to get into um, a basic understanding of UI UX design. And uh, following that, uh, uh, shameless plug, I recently gave out uh, pretty much all of the courses which uh, I created over the past years, uh, which is over 40 hours of content, uh, giving it away <laughs> almost for free. It's just nine bucks. Uh, and uh, I don't want to necessarily like pitch you on, on these, uh, but uh, what I want uh, to focus on is uh, the basic structure. So I try to think about like what are all of the main building blocks which are needed for a student to understand uh, uh, the field and uh, actually have a portfolio up and going. So I would say even if you don't want uh, to use uh, my courses, uh, you should uh, definitely have a basic understanding of you know getting started in UI UX design, which you can do by going on uh, the Coursera course. Uh, Design theory, so things like colors, typography, layout, all those things are really important to understand and have a grasp. And that you can learn also on other websites such as Udemy. They have a lot of design theory courses. And essentially after that, you would need to pick and choose one of the main design softwares out there. My personal recommendation these days is to go with Figma easy to use, uh, very easy to collaborate, especially if you're looking to work uh, remotely. And uh, overall, it's just a great solution. After that, uh, either Sketch or Adobe XD are also going to work totally fine. And in my personal opinion, you should learn also Photoshop. And uh, these days also Canva can be useful for certain specific projects such as presentations and um, some, some projects which uh, might appear here and there where the client uh, might want a Canva template for um, their team to use internally so that they can create some uh, quick assets fast and easy. So I would put that also in the equation. And if you're looking to also do some development, uh, Webflow is definitely uh, something which I definitely um, recommend. And uh, on top of that, you're going to need to learn all of the business uh, freelancing if you're going that route uh, and uh, how to find and sell to high ticket clients. Now, this resource, uh, Udemy, super undervalued in my personal opinion. And uh, it's actually really good, especially for technical like design software courses. Like for example, Figma, you can get for like 11 bucks, uh, 11 hours of Figma course, which is uh, <clears throat> really well done. And um, yeah, they're, they just have like so many. So I would say find an instructor that you like, uh, have a look uh, at uh, the course uh, curriculum. And um, basically I, I would just follow uh, that. Uh, and uh, for just like 10, 11, 12 bucks, you have like so much value. You don't need to spend like thousands of dollars or even tens of thousands of dollars like I did in design university because 
I don't think it's recommended. I worked with so many people who are making really good money and they don't, uh, um, they don't have a university background. So definitely that's uh, something to keep in mind. Another really important uh, resource is YouTube. And in particular, I really like Flux Academy. They have uh, over 1,300 videos where they teach you pretty much everything from uh, design theory to design software knowledge. And um, yeah, it's just a really good solid channel in my, in my opinion. And um, also, of course, on my channel, I have over 700 videos, so you can check uh, that out as well. And uh, on top of that, Skillshare, uh, they have some, some really nice uh, uh, courses over there as well. And uh, I like to use uh, Udemy and Skillshare, like almost like on, on two paths. So whenever I don't find something on Udemy or I go on Skillshare or whenever I don't find that something on Skillshare, I go in, on Udemy and try to like fill those gaps. Uh, Skillshare is amazing in uh, a lot of different ways, but they're just two, two different conceptions. And on top of that, one thing that I would highly recommend you to do is to find a mentor, especially after you have basic knowledge of all these things, which I mentioned. Uh, finding a mentor is just invaluable. Uh, having someone who's already been there and done that uh, can uh, teach you so much in a short amount of time because uh, you don't need to test 10 things in order to see the one that works. Uh, the mentor can just point you to that one uh, uh, directly. So really good investment in my opinion. And uh, over here, I just found like this, this website almost by accident, never used it, but it seems like uh, really professional. And I really like this, uh, this idea of having a mentor who's uh, at uh, a top tier company or, you know, has a lot of experience and you can have uh, regular calls with them. So definitely something which uh, is uh, uh, really, uh, really, really cool as a concept uh, overall. So I would definitely recommend you to check out uh, uh, something or something like this. It can even be a one-off. It doesn't need to be monthly recurring. And uh, by the way, generally speaking, all of these resources, which I mentioned, they're at a very low cost, but they're not free, of course. Uh, my recommendation is still like to pull the plug on it because uh, if, if you were to, for example, go on YouTube and uh, just find like free courses, free, um, you know, design theory, uh, there, there are not even courses, they're just like snippets or, of videos. You're not going to have a well-structured curriculum. So you don't even, you're still learning what, what it takes and, you know, what you need to become a designer. So the point that, that I'm making is uh, you're not going to have a clear idea as to what you need in order to go from point A to point B. And of course, at least is well structured and you have like snippets of uh, information diluted over time. And uh, I think that like 50 to a hundred dollars, uh, like can take you like so such a long way, especially considering how much money you can make in this field. Like it's, no brainer. Um, so my personal recommendation, if you don't have the money, just, just find like a, a random job, you know, or don't even need a job. You just need like a, a project or, you know, like a side, uh, so some way to make some, some income, uh, like 50 to hundred bucks is going to give you like access to hundreds of hours of, of education and, you know, well-structured by top tier instructors. So it's a, it really is a no brainer. Just go on Upwork and do like that data entry job for like two weeks. You're going to totally make like 50 to a hundred bucks. It doesn't take uh, that much. So that would be my personal recommendation. But again, there's tons of free resources uh, out there. You can definitely make it. And uh, yeah, hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the very next one.